It was pretty wild. <laughs> Yeah, Dustin Raymond pulled over for police and recorded because this was no ordinary chase which passed him. It was a long pursuit, it actually ended in Trumbull County. Now we had the first details on this incident during First News at 10 last night, but it continued until after 2 a.m. New today, we talked to people who saw the chase and hear police explain what happened. Trumbull County reporter Nadine Grimley has those details. Robert Ashley Jr. is in the Portage County Jail, accused of leading law enforcement on a nearly 40-mile chase originating in Rootstown around 7:10 last night. It started with Portage County Sheriff's Office uh, responding to a report of a person slumped over the wheel overdosing on State Route 44 near Interstate 76, at which point when Portage County Sheriff's Office responded, the suspect fled. The chase made its way into Trumbull County. I think they're chasing the van. Oh my word. He doesn't have a wheel. It looked like the president was coming, so we were like, we were filming it. And then uh, we see this little contractor van coming past us, and uh, he didn't have any front tires. It was just very surreal to see it in person. You see it on the news, you hear about it. Uh, it's not something I guess everybody gets to witness. Troopers say law enforcement was able to successfully use stop sticks. It actually lowered his speeds from where he had hit speeds upwards of 90 to where he couldn't get up over 50, which allowed him not to catch up with traffic. It allowed us to keep traffic back from him and it allowed for a safer pursuit. The van eventually went off the road on Route 11 South in Liberty Township near Tibbetswick Road. Investigators say Ashley ran off. Law enforcement searched for him on the ground in Bayer. Troopers say he was arrested around 2 a.m. and taken to the hospital to be treated for hypothermia before being booked into the Trumbull County Jail. Investigators say drug paraphernalia was found inside the van. Impaired drivers are a danger to us all. In Liberty, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.